So we've seen simple examples of rationalise the denominator. We've been introduced to that. If then we move on to having to rationalise the denominator for something that looks like this, this is a little bit more challenging. I can't just multiply top and bottom by root 5. If you did do that, you would get 3 root 5 on the top, and then you would get 2 root 5 plus 5 on the bottom. You would get exactly the same valued fraction, Okay, nothing would have changed, but there is still a third in the denominator. So it doesn't work. So we've got to find a slightly different technique in order to rationalise the denominator for these. Now, what I'm going to refer back to here is if we looked at a plus root b, and then I multiplied that by a minus root b, what I get is a times a, which is a squared. I get a times minus root b, so minus a root b. I get a times root b, so plus a root b. And then I get root b times minus root b, which would be minus b. So the minus a root b and the plus a root b cancel each other out and I'm left with a squared minus b. So I'm left, in this case, with something that has no third, no square root, okay? So I would be left with something that is rational. So, that means I could use that technique in order to rationalise the denominator. Because you can imagine that the a plus root b is the 2 plus root 5. So if I multiply the 2 plus root 5 by 2 minus root 5, in order to make sure the fraction doesn't change, I'm going to have to have 2 minus root 5 in the numerator. So effectively I'm multiplying my original problem by 1. Okay? So it won't change the overall answer. Right, so I'm now in a position where I'm able to do this. And what we'll find in further examples, in further videos, is that if this is a plus, then this will be a minus. If this is a minus, then these are pluses. Okay, so you change the sign, effectively, of what you have in the denominator here. That allows you, because then you're either looking at whichever bracket, and that allows you to cancel out the square root symbol. So, in the numerator, we have three lots of 2 minus root 5. So I have three lots of 2, which is 6, and three lots of minus root 5, which would be minus 3 root 5. In the denominator, I'll have 2 times 2, which is 4. I've got 2 times minus root 5, and 2 times root 5, which is the part, this part, that cancel each other's, cancels each other out. So I don't need to worry about that bit. I will write it down here just so you can see how it's working. So we have minus 2 root 5 and we've got a plus 2 root 5. So those are the bits that cancel each other out. And I've got the root 5 times minus root 5 which would just be minus 5. So I'm left on the numerator with 6 minus 3 root 5 over 4 minus 5, so minus 1. Now if you're dividing through by that minus 1, what it's going to do is just change the sign of these terms. So we get minus 6 plus 3 root 5. Okay? And that original fraction that was absolutely horrible to work with can now be more simply worked with by using minus 6 plus 3 root 5. They both have exactly the same value, but this one will be easier to work with than that one. Okay? And that's how we're going to rationalise the denominator for examples that look like this.